In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove glare from glasses with the help of AI. I don't even have glasses. All right, quick heads up. This clip is kind of deceptive. The eyeglasses you see here, I actually edit them afterwards on my bare face with the help of AI. But that's a topic for another tutorial. This video is a follow-up to my first Remove Glare from Glasses video, where my method only worked in pretty limited situations. Now, obviously the best method to get rid of glare or reflections is still to reach it with better lighting. But let's be real, that's not always possible. The good news is AI has gotten way better at this. It can remove glare from glasses more easily than ever before. The trick is to combine the lowest AI output with your original, let's say, 4K footage. That way, you keep most of the image quality and it doesn't look so obviously AI generated. And that's where After Effects, or really any compositing tool, comes in. In this video, I'll show you how to remove glare from glasses using Runway and Nano Banana for the best results. But I'll also walk you through a Firefly-only method, which you already have in your Creative Cloud subscription. This approach works best for talking head videos or one-on-one -on -one interviews, where there is not too much head or eye movement. That's why I'm heading to pexels.com and typing interview glasses clear into the search bar. Pexels is a place where you can download footage for free. After browsing the results, we come across a man talking on his mobile phone. It's not exactly an interview, but since he's wearing reflective glasses, it's perfect for this tutorial. The link is in the description below. I recommend downloading and using the same clip so you can follow along with my tutorial more easily and achieve a result close to mine, maybe even better. When you click download, Pexels reminds you to show some love to the videographer, so don't forget to do that. Open After Effects and import the footage. But before we move on, open the Interpret footage window to change the frame rate to 24 frames per second. The reason is that the Gen AI video tools we're going to use output 24 frames per second. Then put the video into a composition by dragging it onto the composition icon. As the file name suggests, the footage is 3840 by 2160 pixels. Our goal is to preserve the 4K quality and limit the use of AI to only the part of the video where it's needed. For this reason, we're going to nest the composition into another one by dragging it onto the composition icon again, renaming the new comp to Video Cropped and changing the dimensions to 1280 by 720 pixels. That's the average resolution that Gen AI models output today. Reposition the footage so that the lenses with the reflections are in focus and not cropped off. Now export frame 0 as a still image. As an After Effects user, there is a high chance that you're a Creative Cloud Pro subscriber already. Therefore, you have access to Firefly with enough credits included. In your Firefly account, click on Text to Image. In the drop-down, you can choose between different AI models. And the good thing is, you can select the very powerful Google Gemini 2.5 Image Generator, also known as Nana Banana, which is built into Firefly as an external model. Import the still frame into the image box and prompt something like remove glare from glasses. Well, it's not exactly what we asked for. It removed the glasses completely, but that's actually perfect for our next step. Download the generated image, drag it into the video crop composition and fit it to comp height because Nana Banana generated an image in a slightly higher resolution. Toggle the image on and off to compare. It matches closely, and the most important parts, the eyes, are reconstructed almost perfectly. That's what we need. We don't care about the rest of the image. Next, export the cropped video and open Runway ML. With LF, Runway ML has one of the best video transformation models I know. If you're not subscribed to Runway, don't worry. I'll show you a Firefly-only alternative later. Drag the cropped video into the main box and the still frame from Nana Banana into the reference box. Prompt something like, reshoot man without his glasses. The first result looks decent, but something's off with his left eyelid. 
That's why I recommend generating more videos to have options. But don't fall into the perfection trap. You can easily burn a lot of credits trying to get the exact result you have in mind, which rarely happens with the so-called AI slot machines. It sometimes gets even worse, like in this case. You can also type variations of the prompt to see if you can get something better. In my case, the prompt reshoot man without his glasses, keep eye movements as close as possible gives the best result. The eyes move slightly differently than in the original, but that's fine. Let's go with this clip. Before we import it into After Effects, let's mask out the eyeglass lenses first. To do this, go into the initial composition with the uncropped footage and apply the Mocha AE effect to it. From my experience, we get the best tracking results when we grab the Create Xpline Layer tool to draw a rough spline around one lens and then use the Add Xpline to Layer tool to draw a more precise one. Repeat for the other lens. Start tracking and adjust the splines if they drift. Save and close Mocha AE. In the matte section, click Create AE Masks. Then delete the unnecessary outer masks and set the lens masks to subtract. In the video cropped comp, your footage should now show the lens areas cut out. Now import the AI generated video and drag it into the comp. The first frame matches almost 100%. A side by side comparison also shows that the movements and even the lips match. Let's drag it below the masked video and hit play. At first glance, it looks good, and this might be okay if you are on a tight deadline. However, if you look closely, the AI video slips slightly out of sync, which might be hard to notice because of my screen recording's frame rate. I didn't have any slipping issues after I used my video in Runway. The output worked perfectly with my video. But then, my other video didn't sync with Runway at all. It seems sometimes you're lucky and sometimes you're not. I'm clueless. Maybe it's because Gen AI isn't an exact science. But the good thing is, we can fix it. If you don't have this issue, you can skip this part. However, the following technique will still be useful if you don't have a video transformer like Runway ML. So I recommend watching it if you want to use Firefly or any other video model instead. Grab the original footage and create a new composition with it. Apply Mocha AE to it and draw a spline, this time around the whole eyeglass frame because we're going to track it. With the Add X Spline to Layer tool, create rough splines around the eyes. This excludes the eye movements that could spoil the tracking. Then start tracking. When finished, drag the playhead to frame 0 and reveal the blue planar surface by clicking on this icon. Just a side note, Mocha AE is a planar surface tracker, and this blue rectangle usually contains the tracking data. Handy for screen replacements. Next, click on this icon to expand the planar surface to fill the entire frame. Why are we doing this? Because this is a crucial step to stabilize the glasses. I'll explain its purpose in a moment. After saving and closing Mocha AE, click on Create Track Data. Apply a CC power pin effect, open it in the layer and expression pick whip its top left parameter to Mocha AE's top left, top right to top right, bottom left to bottom left, and finally bottom right to bottom right. Then check Invert. The footage may look wobbly now, but the glasses stay perfectly locked in place. We can now go into the other composition to copy the animated masks and paste them into the stabilized footage. So what's the point of this stabilization thing? It'll make matching it with runway slipping video much easier. All we have to do is also stabilize runway's AI video. Put it into its own composition, apply Mocha AE, draw a spline around stable facial areas like the brows and nose and exclude the eyes. Track it, move the playhead to frame 0 and expand the planar surface to fill the entire frame. Then again, apply CC power pin and expression pick whip top left to top left, top right to top right and so on. Finally, check Invert and click 
create track data if you haven't already. Just to keep it organized, rename the comp to Runway Stabilized. Now that we've stabilized the cropped runway video, we can combine it with the uncropped original footage that we stabilized first. Since their comp sizes differ, matching them precisely can be a bit tricky. Here's what I'd do. Drag the runway stabilized comp into the video cropped composition to parent it to the 4K sized comp, since they already match there. Then copy both layers, open the composition containing the uncropped stabilized footage and paste them into it. Next, select the parent 4K layer and fit it to the comp by pressing Ctrl Alt F on Windows or Command Option F on Mac. This way, the parented runway video automatically snaps into the exact position where it matches the uncropped video. Since we no longer need the parent layer, delete it. Finally, drag the AI video below the original footage so it appears within the eyeglass frame. Play it back to check the result. Looks like their movements align nicely. Now, how can we revert the stabilization to see the result undistorted? Copy Mocha AE and CC Power Pin from the original footage, name the comp Original Stabilized, drag it into a new composition and name it Main Composition. Yes, the runway video ends after 5 seconds, but I'll come to that in a moment. Then paste the effects into the subcomp and check Unstretch in CC Power Pin. And boom, we just reverted the stabilization. To fill the gaps, you can simply drag the original video below the subcomp. Yeah, looks great and natural. And the remaining sliding is only obvious when we zoom in. So that was my basic technique. But in real life interview clips, they don't end after 5 seconds. Let's extend it by another 5 seconds. Export the last frame from the video that Runway generated, as well as the cropped original sequence starting from the same frame. Import the video and the new reference frame into Runway and generate multiple videos with the same prompt, reshoot man without his glasses. Then select what you think is the best one. So let's just take this one because it already looks good to me. Import it into After Effects and drag it into the video cropped composition so that its first frame overlaps the last frame of the first Runway video. Looks very seamless. But there is a slight color shift that we can fix with the Lumetri effect for example. I'll just make it quick and dirty here. Select both AI videos and pre-compose them. Let's name it Runway 10 seconds. Then put this composition into a new one called Runway Stabilized 10 seconds. In this composition, apply Mocha AE to the subcomp to stabilize the footage like we did with the first Runway video before. Of course, we could have generated sequential 5 second clips beforehand to avoid repeating the stabilizing process. So if you know how long your original clip is, you can do all the prep in Runway first. You even have a useful Use Frame drop-down menu where you can select the last frame of a generated video to use as a reference frame for the next video generation. After bringing the stabilized AI video and the stabilized original video together, you might sometimes notice that something is off. Maybe it's because of extreme head rotations or subtle facial movements we hadn't noticed that spoiled the tracking. This becomes even more obvious after reverting the stabilization. You can even see another issue here. When the man lifts his glasses, his eyes shouldn't be tracked to the lenses. To fix this, you could redo the stabilization by tracking alternative parts around the eyes, or go into the original stabilized composition, add a new null layer and place it directly in the center of the eyeglass bridge. Then you can parent the stabilized runway comp to the null layer and animate its rotation, position and scale to counteract wrong movements and distortions. For demonstration purposes, I'll just make it quick and dirty via trial and error while comparing it to the original footage. But even sloppy animated, you wouldn't notice it unless you knew, especially without a close-up shot of his face. So job accomplished. But wait a minute, we're perfectionists. Glasses without reflections at all look unnatural. 
For this reason, let's duplicate the stabilized original, increase the mask expansion and mask feather to restore some of the reflections, and adjust their strength via the opacity value. And I think the result is more than usable. Sure, we could have exported an edited image with just the reflections removed to use it as a reference frame in Runway and call it a day. But look at the eyes, they look so AI. And with 720p as the output size, you lose so much image quality compared to the 4K original. But the lip sync seems good, I'll give it that. So using Gen AI only where it's needed in the original footage keeps the high image quality, the lip sync, and makes it barely noticeable that AI was involved. And that's it guys. No, that's not it. If you're not subscribed to Runway, you can also accomplish this in Firefly alone. Go to Image to Video and try different video models. You could start in Firefly Video and import that image we created in Nano Banana as a reference frame. Switch to 720p resolution and make sure that motion is set to static, because we need the video to be as stabilized as possible from the get-go. You could prompt something like, static person, his head is fixed, he stares forward. My first attempt looks good already, but feel free to try different prompt variations. Even if there are some failures, it's always good to have options. If the Firefly video model doesn't give you the results you need, try the View 3 model, which even offers 8 second outputs. Using the same prompts as in Firefly doesn't necessarily give you the same outcomes. Here, a prompt like static person, his head is fixed like a statue, he doesn't speak, he stares forward, gives us the video we need. One or two more variations might even produce a better generation, which is the case here. So let's download it, import it into After Effects and treat it the same way we did with Runway's video. Let me rush through it this time for those of you who skipped the Runway parts. In Mocha AE, track the face without the moving eyes. Then apply CC Power Pen and Expression Pick Ribbit to Mocha AE's tracking data to stabilize the footage. And here's an advantage over Runway. Because we generated a video with an almost fixed head, we can extend this sequence using the same footage, just in case your original video is longer than what Firefly generated. We can look for a good loop point in the timeline, in this case, where the eyes are closed while the man blinks. Put the stabilized Firefly video below your stabilized original with the eyeglass lenses cut out. In my case, I just replaced Runway's video with a Firefly sequence. Parent it to the null layer placed exactly in the center between the eyes and animate its position, rotation and scale to neutralize strange slides and distortions that don't correspond with the original footage. With the slight glass reflections dialed back from the original footage, you only see discrepancies if you know it's AI generated and focus on his eyes. And in the original framing, it's even less obvious. I'd say. Runway's result comes closest to the original footage, but Firefly's outcome is totally decent. Given how painstaking it would be to remove the reflections by painting them out frame by frame or using traditional compositing techniques, I think the results are more than acceptable. And that's it guys. Now for real. AI is moving so fast. How long before this tutorial is obsolete? I'll keep you updated.